buy Brentech here where tech is made simple. So after posting last week that Microsoft had released the next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 11 24H2 KB5062660 to the release preview channel insiders for final testing. That video will be linked if you'd like some more information. Yesterday on the 17th, that's late yesterday in my region, Microsoft now has rolled out a couple of fixes that are now included with the update which changes the actual KB and the build number. So we've gone from KB5062660 to 506263 and the build has been bumped up from 4762 to 4767. So we can see that update was yesterday on the 17th. Now just on a side note, Windows 10, Windows 11 23H2 and now Windows 11 24H2, as I posted earlier this week, video will also be linked, Microsoft is patching the patches where all three versions of Windows in release preview have received fixes and updates to address issues according to Microsoft. And I said in the previous video, and I'm going to say it again, that's why we have the Insider program where at least Microsoft now is sorting things out in preview before it rolls out to the stable version. So there are five bug fixes that Microsoft has added now to the original update. And just to go through these quickly for the purpose of this video. First of all, there's a graphics fix where apparently an issue where external graphics cards connected through Thunderbolt weren't always recognized in some cases. That's now been fixed in preview. And there are two fixes for input. One is a known issue that's been addressed, which is always good to hear. Apparently an issue when using the Microsoft Changi IME, that's input method editor for traditional Chinese might cause problems such as not being able to form or select words. An unresponsive spacebar or blank key, incorrect word output or a broken candidate window display. This occurs after installing the Patch Tuesday update for this month for Windows 11 24H2, KB5062553. So it's good to see that known issue has been sorted out. And another issue has also been sorted out caused by the same update where Microsoft says this update addresses an issue that affects phonetic input methods, including the Hindi phonetic input keyboard and the Marathi phonetic keyboard, which might not work correctly after installing the July Patch Tuesday security update. So good to see that Microsoft is quick to fix those issues. And then we've got a fix for the group policy editor, where the update addresses an issue where the group policy editor shows Error messages like no element was expected but found or encountered an unknown error when opened. And then the final one, which I'm glad to see, and this has been a known issue we have been talking about on the channel where Microsoft said it was fixed. And then I posted a video earlier this week where Microsoft had admitted it wasn't fixed. It had made it error. We spoke about that regarding communication issues. I'll also leave that video linked for what it's worth. And now, in preview, Microsoft says the update addresses an issue found in Event Viewer as Event 2042 for Windows Firewall with advanced security. The event appears as config read failed with the message more data is available. So happy to see that now they are finally rolling out hopefully a fix that will actually address that issue. And as mentioned, good to see that Microsoft is trying to sort things out in preview and not trying to sort it out after it rolls out to the general public. And when the update does roll out, by the way, in a couple of days, I would suggest if we don't see it next week, starting next week, Tuesday, it could roll out in those last couple of days of the month. And because there are a couple of extra fixes, the update could be delayed. And because obviously Microsoft now has added fixes to the original update but nonetheless when that does roll out i'll let you guys know so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one